All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ultimate Dirt TV. Tonight, the Blue Sphere Corporation 360 Week Sprint Cars are back in action for the season number three, I believe. We're round number one here, live from the USA International Speedway. My name is Brett Wheeler. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening as we get set for group qualifying here for the first round of the season. Our first car on the racetrack in the 158 is going to be Zach Settle. Zach Settle in car 158. In the 057, it is Craig Dunn. In 157, it's John Lopresto. And in car number 22, Jason Nygaard. First lap time coming through right now. Zachary Settle with a 20.153. Craig Dunn position one with a 20.014. Lopresto with a 20.116 and Jason Nygaard quick time with a 19.808. Settle second lap with a 20.004. Dunn second lap slower. Lopresto lap two with a 19.941 and Jason Nygaard a little slower but still remains in position number one with a 19.808. So group number one of the first season and at the moment Jason Nygaard sits in position number one. So welcome you back to the new season. Who will take out the 360 championship? Will it be Anthony Lopresto doubling up on that one or are we going to see a new face lift that title? It's a long 12 weeks ahead of us. 24 races, two races a night. Rounds one. We'll have one race during the day and then one race at the night time as well. Out on the racetrack in car number 29, we've got Taylor Howe. Taylor Howe in car number 29. In car number 44 on the racetrack down the back straightaway now, it is Ryan Pace. In car number 88, it's John Harper. And in car number 11, it is Zach McLaughlin. Zach McLaughlin... First lap time for Taylor Howe with 20.111. Ryan Pace with a 20.173. Harper with a 20.090. And Zach McLaughlin with a 20.085. You're watching Howe on screen with a 20.3. Lap number two, so lap one better. Pace with a 20.120. He's the fastest lap so far. John Harper improves with a 19.992 and Zach McLaughlin slower on lap number two. So that wraps up group number two of qualifying. And I believe we've got about 30 cars in attendance here this evening. So we'll definitely have a B main. Yeah, let's just let us know, make sure that the sounds are all right. The volume of the cars is A-OK. -okay. Might need to turn them up a bit, but we can do that. Next few cars onto the racetrack right now in car number 21, Tyler Henselman. Tyler Henselman in car number 21. In car number 93, Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts in car number 93. In the 06, it is Kyle Scott. And in the triple two is Weston Newell. First lap time for Tyler Henselman, a 20.148. A 20.148. Chris Roberts position seven with a 20.107. Kyle Scott 20.174 and Western New York position number two with a 19.938. Henselman will improve up to position number six with a 20.008. Roberts improving on time with a 20.092 position nine. Kyle Scott improving on time but not on position with a 20.140. And Western Newell unable to improve from the 19.938 on lap number one. So, group number three done. Now, 
and that roll our next couple of cars onto the racetrack in car number five it's Tyler Curtis Tyler Curtis in car number five in car number 77 it's Aaron Schaefer Aaron Schaefer in car number 77 in the 010 Steve Castle Steve Castle in the 010 and in car number 20 it is John Lowe John Lowe in car number 20 Make sure you check out Ultimate Dirt TV on YouTube. Head over to youtube.com forward slash Ultimate Dirt TV. We just uploaded five videos today. Uh, it should have been uploaded last week, so I apologize in the delay there. But we'll have more videos going up over the next couple of days as well. Make sure you check out Blue Sphere Corporation, Dirty Old Bastards on Facebook. Check out Colby's Eye Paints as well. You can also check out City Group Holdings. Lap 1 for Tyler Curtis is 16th quick. Schaefer ninth. Steve Castle fifteenth with a twenty point one six nine and John Lowe eighth quick with a twenty point zero six one. Let's we'll see if any of these drivers can improve. Cass uh, Lowe improves on time with a twenty point zero one eight. Castle with a twenty one six nine. Curtis with a twenty two nine two. And Schaefer ninth quick with a twenty point zero seven one. Those drivers sitting in the top 10 at the moment. And out rolls the Wicked Cushion. Steady Group Holdings, number 97 of Matthew Henninger. Teammate rolling out behind him in the 127. It is Stephen Hill. And in the LMS Express, the Wicked Cushion, number 9. It is Drew Neal. And in car number 75, Dylan Workman. Dylan Workman in car number 7, in fact, I believe. Dylan Workman. So the longest dirt track we've got on the service, three quarters of a mile long. Twin 30s here this evening. First lap time for Matthew Henninger. A 20.205. A 20.205. Stephen Hill, one one thousand of a second quick with a 20.204. June Neal, position five with a 19.997. And Dylan Workman, no time. Henninger up to position 17 with a 20.174. Stephen Hill with a 20.168, Drew Neal with a 19.965, and Dylan Workman fourth quick with a 19.956. So at the moment, your top 10 looks like this from top to bottom Jason Nygaard, Weston Hill, John Lopresto, Dylan Workman, Drew Neal, John Harper, Zach Settle, Zachary Settle, Tyler Henselman, Craig Dunn, and John Lowe. Rolling out in the triple three is Brian Fine. Brian Fine in the triple three in caliber 57, Luke Yanez. In the 03, Justin Zapp. And in caliber 46, it's Aaron Humble. First lap time is going to be Brian Fine coming through turns three and four right now. Brian Fine with a 20.438. Luke Gaddes with a 20.288. Justin Zatt with a 20.580. Excuse me, and Aaron Humble with a 20.453. So not often you see client guys close together like that in qualifying. Fine, no lap time on lap two. Yanez, 20th quick on the bubble. Just as that with a 20.379. And Aaron Humble with a 20.352. And boys, I'm going to do it. This one's for you guys. Crack open a Colby.
So our second last group of qualifying coming out onto the racetrack. Oh man, I'm getting sick. In the triple zero, Stephen Herzberg. Stephen Herzberg in the triple zero. In car number 94, Parker Davis. Parker Davis in the 94. And your defending Blue Sphere Corporation 360 wing sprint car champion, Anthony Lopresto in the 257. Anthony Lopresto, your defending champion on the racetrack as well. Second last group of cars to come out and qualify. First lap time is going to be Steven Herzberg. Is there's a little bit of momentum coming off corner number four, but 20.670, a 20.670. Parker Davis, 17th pick with a 20.153. And no surprise, Anthony Lopresto into the top 10 with a 19.992. Herzberg, quicker time with a 20.612. Parker Davis with a 20.024. Position 12. And Anthony Lopresto, second quick with a 19.831. A 19.831. You're the defending champion. Looking like you'll be, start, be starting on the front row for tonight's main event. And what looks to be our final group of cars to come out onto the racetrack in the Team City City Group Holdings Wicked Cushion Car number 92, it's Mike Keegan. In the Black Diamonds Motorsports 090 entry, it is Trevor Royer. And in car number 51, it is going to be Bruce Wright. Bruce Wright in car number 51. We'll see the 115 of Stephen Renault. He will look like he might get one lap in at the end of this one. 31 cars here in attendance for the opening race, the opening round of the Blue Sphere Corporation 360 Wing Sprint Car Series live from USA. Mike Keegan, 13th quick with a 20.037. Trevor Royer, 18th quick with a 20.112. Bruce Wright, no lap time there. So Keegan, the fastest of these three drivers at the moment. He's looking to improve on the time. No, he does not. Trevor Royer will improve. He will go to position number five with a 19.954. Bruce Wright, 30th quick with a 21.083. And our final car to come out and looks like he should get one lap in here at the end. He's from Canada. In the 115, it is Stephen Renaud. Stephen Renaud in the 115. First and only lap around the USA International Speedway. Goes high in one and two. Zane of the microphone levels A okay, they fine, not uh, like crackly or anything like that. You hear me over the cars fine. Stephen Renault into the top 10. Third quick, in fact, with a 19.914. He says, give me one lap. He's only gonna need one lap. <laughs> I like that one, Zane. Hey, wicked cushion. All right, so we did have one late entry here. It is Travis Shrewis. Now, whether he will get one lap here or not, depending on when he connects. It, if he cannot connect, we're going to go into a B main. It'll be positions 21 on back, and we'll go through your top 20 starters. So, top 10 you can see on screen. Well done to Jason Nygaard. Setting quick time here this evening with a 19.808. Anthony Lopresto with a 19.831. Stephen Renault with a 19.914. Weston Newell with a 19.938. John Lepresto rounds out the top five with a 19.941. You go back to Trevor Royer. Trevor Royer with a 19.954. Dylan Workman with a 19.956. Drew Neal with a 19.965.
And our ninth car, John Harper, the 19992, those nine drivers inside of the 19 second bracket. Zachary Sutton just missing out on the 19 second bracket with a 20.004, sits 10th quick. 11th quick, Tyler Henselman with a 20.008, Craig Dunn 12th with a 20.014, John Lowe with a 20.018, Parker Davis with a 20.024, Mike Keegan 15th quick with a 20.037, Aaron Schaefer with a 20.071, Zach McLaughlin 17th quick with a 20.085, Chris Roberts 18th quick with a 20.092, Taylor Howe 19th quick with a 20.111 and our 20th car to make a direct transfer into the main event from qualifying Ryan Pace in car number 44 with a 20.120 clearer than ever that's good stuff I've been playing with the, the mixer and hoping getting things um, sorted so our B main cars will look like this and we'll go through your rundown order It'll be 11, maybe 12 cars, depending on if Shrewers will get in here or not. He is in here, so 12 car B main. It'll be eight laps. The top four will go to the back of the main event. And there'll be no cautions in this one. So we can take the top 10 qualifying off the screen. And the way they will line up look like this kyle scott will start out of position number one to his outside in the 127 it is stephen hill steve castle will start inside row number two to his outside the 97 of matthew henninger at a position five will be the 57 of luke yannis he will line up alongside the five of tyler curtis aaron humble in the show he leaves kind of a 46 will line up out of position seven and justin zapp in the 03, we'll start out of position at number 8. In fact, he's coming through now, I believe. Out of position number 9 in the 333, it's going to be Brian Fine. Who's outside in the triple zero? It's going to be Stephen Herzberg. Bruce Wright will start out of position number 11, and Travis Truers will start out of position number 12. We are going to be going. The lineup now looks good, guys. We'll go around one more time. So we'll go green next time by. There you go, green next time by. Eight laps on the board. I'd be a bit worried if you had your money on anyone else but your teammates. Eight laps on the board. Tonight's B main, the first B main of the season. And once again, we've got a good turnout here for the opening round of the Blue Sphere Corporation and Dirty Old Bastards 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Remember, Thursday night will be the Wicked Cushion 410 World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series as well. Kyle Scott, green flag is out, and we are underway here in the B main at USA. They look to get through turns one and two cleanly. They do for the moment, and there we go. Down the back straight away. We'll keep an eye on this fourth and final transfer spot, but also we'll try and keep an eye on for the race lead. Stephen Hill and Scott, uh, Kyle Scott side by side. Heading it out on the inside of Castle. That's your battle for third and fourth. Tyler Curtis in the five watching. Oh, no. Castle into the wall. Curtis, humble. He goes half spins as well. And we've got cars in the back, and there is just a big mess on the back straight away. Stephen Hill will lead that one. Kyle Scott in second. Third is Matthew Henninger. And fourth in the triple three is Brian Fine. So that are your top four drivers at the moment, Travis Truers. Although this is his first look at the racetrack for this evening's race, he's sitting in position number five. One spot out of a transfer right now. You're watching the 97 on the screen of Matthew Henninger. In position three. Oh, no. Brian Fine, he's climbed the wall. That's going to damage the rear end of that race car. And that's pretty much going to end his nut. As there should be a fair bit of damage sustained on the back of the triple three. 
Travis Shrew is now into the fourth and final transfer spot, but he's got Steven Herzberg right in behind him. Well, not right in behind him, but he is behind him. And there's the triple three in the rising entry. His night is done for. And we'll see him, hopefully see him back here in race number two. Out in front, five laps complete with three laps to go. And the SETI group holding his team, SETI wicket cushion number 127 of Stephen Hill. Kyle Scott in second, third is going to be Matthew Henning Estelle, fourth is Travis Shrewis, Stephen Herzberg, and the 51 of Bruce Wright. Two to go. So the 127 on the outside. Start on the outside of the front row. Took no time. He wasted no time in getting to the front of the field. And well, he's looking like he's got this one wrapped oh, up in the bush. Right. Three quarters of a mile to run. Four turns to go. Long straightaways. Some tight corner entry. Some tight corner exits as well. The 127 down the back straight away for the final time. In the three and four, he will lock himself into the big dance here in just a moment. Stephen Hill will grab the win. Second will go to Kyle Scott. Third, Matthew Henninger. And fourth is going to be Travis Shrewis. So well done to those four drivers. Stephen Herzberg, unfortunately, will not participate in the main event, nor will Justin Zapp. The 51 of Bruce Wright, Tyler Curtis, Brian Fine. All those drivers, and that's going to be in, but there is your B main winner. Well, before we go any further, before we get to our SETI Group Holdings starting grid, let's play the American National Anthem. Let's take a look at our setting group holding starting grid. Starting on the pole in car number 22, Jason Nygaard. He lines up alongside the 257 of Anthony Lopresto. At a position number three in the 115, Stephen Renault to his outside in the triple two. It's Weston Newell. At a position number five in the 157, John Lopresto lines up alongside the 090 of Trevor Royer. At a position number seven in car number seven, Dylan Workman, he will line up alongside the nine of Drew Neal at a position number eight. At a position number nine in car number 88, it is John Harper to his outside in position number 10. It's the 158 of Zachary Saddle. At a position number 11, in caliber 21, Tyler Hentelman. He will line up alongside the 057 of Craig Dunn. At a position number 13, in caliber 20, it's John Lowe. At a position number 14, in caliber 94, Parker Davis. At a position 15, in the 92 of Mike Keegan. On the outside of row number eight, it is the 77 of Aaron Schaefer. 
At a position 17, the 11 of the sack, McLaughlin lines up alongside the 93, Taylor Howe, at a 19th, and Ryan Pace out of 20th. You go back to Stephen Hill and Kyle Scott, Matthew Henninger, and Travis Shrewers. Our final cars in tonight's main event, the transfer from the V-Main. Yes, it is that time of the season. We start season number three, I believe it is. It'll be 30 laps on the board. Here at USA International Speedway, well done to Jason Nygaard. I'm putting the Senate Group Holdings next in Fab Wick and Cushion Coley's High Face, number 22 on pole. We get set. For race number one, round number one of the series, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get after it. Down the back straight away into three. Off a turn number four. He will have the choice on when to go. Ladies and gentlemen, round number one of the Loose Fear Corporation 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Let's get dirty for 30. We are green. Three wide. Oh, no. A couple of cars into the wall. And there's a big wreck. John Harper in the 88. Trevor Royer stuck into the wall as well. And oh, man. Steven Herzberg is one of those cars. We've got Drew Neal upside down on the back straightaway. Let's take a look at the Colby's Eye Paints instant replay. You'll be able to see just what happened. On the black and blue car, so Newell got into the wall. Parker Davis, up or not upside down, got on the wall as well. And a couple of cars getting involved in an early incident, and that's not what you want to happen on the opening night of the series. So the first caution to come out here at USA in the first caution of the brand new season. And officially Jason no Jason Nygaard. They will classify that as lap number one. So we'll see the white flag come out at lap number thirty-three. So Nygaard will be put down as leading lap number one. around on the pace truck. After the truck pulls off and they reach that first red line coming out by turn four. Should have, I believe, white flag at lap number 33. We did miss that one. So seeing as though 30 laps, we'll add three laps to this, uh, three laps to every caution. Hopefully we don't get to see too many of those yellow flags on the speedway here at USA, the longest track we have. Here we go, pace truck in, Jason Nygaard. Getting set to go green and we're back underway. Green flag, green flag. Here in USA. Try to keep an eye on us. Here goes Royer to the inside of John Lowe. Workman into the wall, Henselman into the wall as well. They're staying in it. And everyone makes it somewhat cleanly through turns one and two. McLaughlin on the inside of Western Hill. Look at Royer. Looking to pick, pick up position number four at the moment. 
in the one and two he goes oh no anthony lopresto climbs the fence and then he's gonna he's not done for he's trying to stay out of everyone's way trying to stay out of harm's way just trying to run the bottom side so we'll see if the 257 there's no doubt that that car has certainly got a meatball flag and he'll want to keep this race going green Certainly ill handling race car. How about Stephen Hill? Caution is out. Let's see if we can go back and see who that was. Let's see the triple zero of Stephen Herzberg there. Drew Neal coming back out onto the racetrack. Unfortunately, he's going to be about six laps down. Tyler Hanselman in the 21. Let's hope it wasn't him that had that caution then. Oh yeah, back Matt, uh, himself, and I believe the 97 will look like a Matthew Henninger just coming together there. Looks like a maybe a bit of Netco there. Unfortunately, the 21 going around and not the way he would have liked to start off the season here this evening. He finds himself back on pit road, and I tell you what, how about Stephen Hill from 21st already up to position number 10. Might even be position number nine. Because Lopresto, he's going to try and hang on to that race car. And after climbing the outside wall, come back down hard on the rear end. It certainly would have broke. So I wonder if uh, Lopresto has got that ugly meatball flag at the moment. We should see the white. We should hear the white flag being told at lap number thirty-six of one the green. One the green, guys. Tighten up, single file. White flag, lap thirty-six. Once again. There we go. Confirmation that it is thirty laps here this evening. Six remain. We've got four laps in the books here in the main event this evening. Jason Nygaard to leave from Trevor Trevor Royer, Low Renault, and Dunn. Your top five: McLaughlin, Settle, Howe, Hill, and Western. Your Anthony Presto, I believe, back green in flag, flag. the pits, and we are back underway. We'll keep an eye on the Black Diamonds Motorsports 090 of Trevor Royer. Steven Renault on the inside of, uh, that's the 20 of John Lowe. He can't make the pass in one and two. Settle now on the outside of McLaughlin down the back straightaway. And here comes Stephen Hill on the inside of Taylor Howe. So, oh, Renault, he might have just caught the inside wall there. He's going to lose one spot to Settle looking at trying to hang on, not lose any more positions right now. Settle into the wall in turns one and two, three, four, five, six cars get on by and there's contact. The 92 of King in a round. And we're right on that one. As the drivers came through turns one and two. Keep an eye on the green car on the outside. The lime green into the wall. As he just comes back off the racetrack. Tries to get back on it. Keegan was there. Had nowhere to go. Right, let's go on board. Here's Mike Keegan. Car there, he's just fighting his own business, and he just gets turned around and just get back on the gas. But the yellow flag is out. And I'll have a look at Zachary Sell just to see how that played out for him as well. Jump the cushion there, and you can see the camera sort of going through the wall there. So, the 
big thanks to Colby's Art Paints for the replays for the rest of the season. They've jumped on board with Ultimate Dirt TV towards the end of last season as well, so big shout out to him. Big shout out to City Group Holdings as well for jumping on board, for providing us with the finishing result and starting grids for the rest of the season. Take that, single foul, white flag lap 39. And we get two laps complete from that one. So we have 24 remain here this evening, live from USA International Speedway. Race two of the first round. We, we, we will be back here at USA, but this time the nights, the lights and the night time will be in full effect. No more sun beaming down on this racetrack. Pace truck about to be in as soon as they reach that turn four sign there. Around green there. Flag, green flag. They can get back underway. Royer to the inside of Nygaard into turns one and two. Battle for the race lead. Royer's got a good run, but Nygaard keeps the momentum up on the top side of the racetrack. And now here comes Low. Working to the inside, Craig Dunn on the outside, Stephen Renaud as well, and Zach McLaughlin in position number five. Renaud comes up the racetrack, almost took the front end out of that number 11 machine. But Royer once again going to fight back on the inside. We'll try and keep an eye on the 127 of Stephen Hill as he's making his way through the field along with the 06 of Kyle Scott. Kyle Scott running the insides and they're battling it out. Side by side, they're at the moment, they're ninth and 10th. And now Stephen Hill looking to slide up in front of West and Neil McLaughlin now. Neil through back through the middle, he makes contact with Stephen Hill. And Kyle Scott goes on by up to position number seven. Trevor Royer, your race leader, we're not showing up in the Nygaard. He must have got the wall. And three wide for positions, two, three and four. Dunn on the outside, low through the middle. Renaud now catches the wall off turn number two. And we got 20 laps to go. And Trevor Royer out in front. And he is looking comfortable right now. Oh no, Nygaard into the wall. Taylor Howe done well not to uh, to get into the back of Nygaard. And yellow flag is out onto the racetrack. We've got Mike Keegan and Zachary Settle upside down. Let's take a look at the Cobby's Eye Paints instant replay and see what happened here. Oh, Zach McLaughlin got into the wall. Settle and Keegan had nowhere to go, unfortunately. See, just to the right of the screen. Uh, Replay, look how, just hear how much that car is revving. So there's a black and green car to get into the wall. Now we'll have a look from Zachary Saddle's point of view. And he's got a real tall gear in that thing. Ooh. Settle. Unfortunately. Let's take a look at what happened to Zach McLaughlin. Just jumped off over the cushion. I just dug in and that was pretty much all she wrote. So Trevor Royer in 090 out in front. In the Black Diamonds Motorsports entry. Out in first place. Second is Craig Dunn, John Lowe, Stephen Renault, Jason Nygaard in fifth. Taylor Howe, Kyle Scott, Western Newell, Aaron Schaefer, Stephen Hill, your top ten. How about Kyle Scott? From 22nd up to position number 7. So we're already picking up 15 spots at the moment. Ryan Pace, Matthew Henninger, Zach McLaughlin, Chris Roberts. So you 14 cars on the lead lap. Zachary Settle, Mike Keegan, I believe, uh, might be back in the pits.
White flag, lap number 42, which will give us about 18 laps left to run. Roy up, back to green flag, racing conditions here at USA. Running through the slider line in turns one and two. We have a look back through the pack to see if all the drivers get through it. They do. Hill around the outside of Schaefer. Western Hill trying to get around the outside of the 29. That's Taylor Howe in that car sitting in position seven. Kyle Scott now in the 06. Looking for a top five already in the opening half of this race. Here comes Renault now. Running the low side. Top in turns three and four, and Royer comfortable in front. Oh no, Stephen Hill. All right, man. Caution is out. Caution, Caution is, is out. out. <laughs> Stephen Hill on the 127, upside down. After being in a top 10, after starting position number 21. Let's have a look on the Colby's Eye Paints instant replay just to see what happened here. So it all started with Western Hill just in front of him. Western Hill got into the back of. Taylor Howe, he got a good run off the cushion, set the car a little bit sideways, Hill had nowhere to go, Hill got into the back of him, and then I believe that's the 44 of Ryan Pace, also having nowhere to go on that one, and he's going to put it back in pit road, and it looks like they might head over towards the hall and put the back of that car and come out and regroup on that one. are still on the pace track at the moment so we're still sitting on two degree we'll have a white flag in lap number 45 so with that in mind we look at the laps at the moment we're on lap 28 lap 30 when we get the green flag and we'll have the white flag lap number 46 so 16 remain Royer, your race leader from Dunn, John Lowe in third, Renault, Nygaard, Scott, Howe, Newell, Henninger, McLaughlin, Schaefer, Roberts, your top 12, and then you got Pace, Hill, Neil, Keegan, Settle, Workman, Herzberg, Lepresto, Henselman, Harbour, Davis, and Shrewers are all back on pit road, or they are multiple laps down, in fact, no, they're all on pit lane. One degree, we'll tighten up. Still got fire, white flag, lap number 46. The leader may fire any time from when the pace truck enters pit road. And I think where that red line is coming out of uh, turn four on the wall. So we've got about half the field left in this one. And we've got about half the race left as well. Green flag, green flag. Back out onto the racetrack and Royal will once again lead us down into turn number one and two. So a lot of guys diving to the bottom, a lot of guys through the middle and some guys up top as well. So evenly spread out they are right now on the top of the racetrack. And Royal coming off a of turn number four. As Nygaard as well, he's got some pressure here from the 06 of Kyle Scott yet again. See what happens here in turns one and two. Oh, Western Mule into the wall. He's looking like he might stay green. So, Kyle Scott as well. Here comes Nygaard back to the middle looking to make this three wide. John Lowe slides up. And Nygaard looking for a way around at the moment. Getting that cushion. Oh, Craig Dunn into the wall. Three wide. Oh, no, John Lowe. Right, Nygaard survives that one. What a scare, Craig Dunn and John Lowe going for wild, wild tumbles. On the back straight away here. Let's take a look at the Colby's eye paints. Instant replay.
Oh no, man, John Lowe. Whew. Wanna get dizzy? Let's look at that from the onboard shot. Oh, John Lowe. So this is the garbage dive face. This is the green face there. Happening at next corner. So keep it on the blue car on the top side, about to get into the wall there. So he goes to the low side and he just uh, he gets tagged. Ouch. I believe that was his teammate who came through there at the last second. Let's take a look at Craig Dunn. Thanks to Cobra's iFates for these replays. So you see the 057. It's coming down off the cushion. And now it's just three wide action there. Nothing really John Lowe can do anything about that one. And I believe that was the 93 of Chris Roberts coming through there and finishing off his teammate. Uh, that was scary. Thank thankfully, they're A-OK. -okay. Lights are out on the pace truck, and we got white flag at 48, I think. underway to, look to hopefully get through the rest of the race cleanly still two and three wide battles Henninger and Roberts come together Henninger on the inside wall on the back straight away and thankfully we stay green and now here comes Kyle Scott in the 06 man what a run he has had from 22nd all the way up to position number three you've just got to wonder how do you qualified better could he be the car that might may have just been leading? But everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I believe maybe 10 to go this next time by. You know what, Weston? Oh no, Jason, I got into the wall. Wow, that was close. And down the back straight away. Should have 10 to go, I believe. Go. There it is, 10 laps to go. Here in the motor at Weston, it happens. And Trevor Royer in the 090 leading the 115 of Stephen Renault and Kyle Scott, literally from the back of the bus, the second last row on the outside. He is now, well, he pulled to the inside there of Stephen Renault, but I think this top side is the place to be right now. Go back, have a look at Taylor Howe and Zach McLaughlin as well. Chris Roberts from deep in the field as well, having a good run. And there's Drew Neal and Stephen Hill battling here at the back. But you have a look at Mike Keegan and the 93 of Chris Roberts, the 92 and 93. They have a nice little side by side tussle off the corner number two. It's going to be Mike Keegan. In fact, he's a few laps down, so. He's just trying to get back to as far as he can and try and get back onto some sort of a, a lead lap, but with five laps down, five laps behind the leaders, we've only got seven cars on the lead lap. Meanwhile, Jason Nygaard, our early pole sitter and early race leader, has found himself back on pit road. And we should have five laps to go next time by. On board here with Trevor Royer. Five to 
the run. Well, yeah, this time by impact, I was shooting the gun just a little bit too early. Like white flag is at lap number 48, so we're only a couple of laps away from closing this one out. You see Royer run on the top side, then you got Stephen Renaud and both Carl Scott run on the bottom. And you go back to Taylor Howe run on the top. Zach McLaughlin also running the top of the racetrack as well. Three, in fact, two and a half to go for the Black Diamonds Motorsports 090 entry of Trevor Royer. Two to go, two more. There you go, two laps to go, one and a half miles. Left around eight more turns. Trevor Royer out in front, comfortable. Stephen Renault with second and third in the 06 is Kyle Scott. What a drive from this man in the 06. And the like it's livestock. The white flag is out, and ladies and gentlemen, we go on and watch the 090 for the rest of the race. Through turns one and two, and down the back straight away for the final time in race number one. The opening round, or well, the opening race of round number one, belongs to Trevor Royer. He will get the cookies. Second will go to Stephen Renault. Third will be Kyle Scott. Well done, boys. We'll try and have a look at the rest of our City Group Holdings finishing results here in just a moment. All right, man. Caution is out. Caution is out. Well, let's quickly see if we can take a look at our City Group Holdings finishing results. And hopefully we can get a chat with our top three. So Trevor Royer getting the job done ahead of Stephen Renault, Kyle Scott, Zach McLaughlin, Taylor Howe, Chris Roberts, Aaron Schaefer, Stephen Hill, Mike Keegan, and Drew Neal, our top 10. You just look at some of these starting positions, 20, well, what was 22nd for Kyle Scott up to 3rd, 17th for McLaughlin up to 4th, Taylor Howe 19th up to 5th, 18th to 6th for Roberts, Aaron Schaefer 16th to 7th, Stephen Hill's 21st up to 8th, Keegan from 15th to 9th. It just goes to show you. Jason Nygaard, the early race leader. He's back in 11th place. Matthew Henninger in 12th from 23rd. So well done. Weston Newell, 13th, 14th. John Lowe, 15th. Craig Dunn, Ryan Payne, Zachary Saddle. Dylan Workman, Stephen Herzberg, Anthony Lopresto. And went to Tyler Henselman, John Harper. Parker Davis and Travis Shrewers as well. So well done to our top three. Trevor Royer not in Discord. Nor is Stephen Renault. And Kyle Scott is not here. So unfortunately we're not going to have a chat with any of our podiums here but it is the 090 of Trevor Royer getting the job done from Stephen Renault and Kyle Scott race number one in the books we're getting set for race number two here in just a few moments time so we're going to be live back in about 10 or 15 minutes time and we'll have another link for you up there in fact you'll be able to see in the videos tab that the when we're going live it'll be about 10 or 12 minutes so make sure you stick around and come back for that one as you're watching the blue sphere corporation and dirty old bastards 360 winged sprint car series live from the usa international speedway right here on ultimate Dirt tv check out colby's eye paints on facebook check out seti group holdings on the web at www.seti.com that's c-e-d-i.com Check out Blue Sphere Corporation, Dirty Old Bastards on Facebook. Check out Ultimate Dirt TV on YouTube. Go to youtube.com forward slash Ultimate Dirt TV. And make sure you check out it. If you haven't already, make sure you like us on Facebook. 
that will be uploaded from Facebook to YouTube inside a couple of days. Race number one, run and won by Trevor Royer in the 090. Race number two, who will pick up that win? Will we see Trevor Royer go back to back or are we going to see a new face in victory lane? We'll be back in a few moments time and race number two will conclude round number one of the Blue Sphere Corporation and Dirty Old Bastards 360 Wing Sprint Car Series.